for what's happening in the local real estate market and some interesting case studies that I saw last month. So as I start out, usually I'd show the heat map. As you can see, it's all red on the right side. Shows that most of the areas are well under three months supply and uh, the market is very tight versus last year. So a continued theme from what we've seen over the last several months. Some important statistics on the east side, our housing supply is down 47% from last year, from last uh, February. Our closed sales are up 20%. Our median active list price is up 28%. And our median closed sale price is now gone from 4% last month to 11. So actually from year over year now, we have seen a double digit increase in our pricing on the east side. In Seattle, very similar story. Housing supply down 34%. Closed sales are up 13%. The median active list price is up 35%. And the median closed sales price is up a little bit more than the east side, so about 14% versus last year. So again, this really low inventory is showing how much pressure there is in the market uh, as far as pricing moving up. Uh, I wanted to move on to a case study that kind of represents really, um, it's it's a kind of overblown case study what's really happening in the market, but it's still, I think, very significant. It's a home that sold in bridal trails. Uh, just recently, it went on the market in February. Uh, this particular home is four bedrooms, two and a quarter baths, 2640 square feet, built in 1975. Nice home, but not over the top. Uh, the home was listed on February 15th, and actually the significant thing about this home is it had 29 offers. Can you imagine that? 29 offers. Um, it was listed at 600000 and purposely priced a little bit lower than what they thought the market was, but uh, what was interesting is they got so much demand. They had 29 offers, and... and um, it will sell for over a hundred thousand dollars over the list price, which I think is really a significant story. Buyers really wanted the schools, so that particular home feeds to Cherry Crest Elementary, which has a gifted program. So there was a number of reasons why, you know, near Microsoft, a lot of jobs, 520, uh, good access to the freeways, good access to downtown, etc. But a very significant. Um, case study, I think, was very interesting. So moving on, um, the, the key takeaways that I got from it, the assessed value I looked at was 557000 Zillow had it at 675905 The comparables uh, showed that it was worth about 630000 with the condition that it was in. And the real AVM, which is off of our tax record, showed that they had a, a value between 520000 and 647000 So it's going to sell well above of those numbers and I think that just again is representative of what's happening in the market. wanted to look at also uh, had the opportunity to go out and look at a lot of different condos in the high-rise condo market that's happening in both the east side and downtown and so if you haven't seen any of these projects there really are fabulous um, fabulous homes that you can look at if you're you know looking for maybe a little bit different lifestyle but in Bellevue Towers um, those are actually mostly sold there are about 60 left there's 19 that are listed from 425,000 to 6.67 million for the penthouse um, Washington Square has 16 listed from 540,000 to 2.267 million for the penthouse and Lincoln Tower has two resales one at 739 and one at 1.1 million the Braeburn as you may know or may not know has been mostly rented out so they're actually not releasing any of that inventory but a total condo, condominium inventory on the east side is now at 1.1 months supply so much different than we've seen over the last few years taking that same story to downtown I looked at some of the major projects downtown Escala has 10 listed from 479,000 to 1.889 million they have about 36 homes left available and they plan to be sold out by the middle of the year 1521 Second Avenue which is down by Pike Place Market it, um, really high-end project, not beautiful, beautiful light uh, units. This is they have about four listed, one from 1.318 million to 1.765 million. The Four Seasons Residence has actually 10 listed from 1.438 million to 7.155 million for the penthouse. And um, all of eight is about 97% sold. They only have five left, 570,000 to 1.26 million, and their inventory is at one point or 1.4 months supply. So some great information. Uh, if you have any questions about the local real estate market, you want to uh, you know, have any questions, you know, give me a call, 425-891-5842, and I'll talk to you next month. Thanks.